All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Sunday. You know what that means. Say it with me. Slow down Sunday. We are slowing it down today, but it's also Favorite Albums Week. And when I say week, you know, maybe give or take a few days. I think we're going to roll this into Tuesday. Tuesday being the two-year anniversary of this show, so I think that's what's going to happen. Anyway. Uh, I had to think about uh, what album would qualify as Slow Down Sunday, and also, did I have a favorite album of all time or whatever that was influential in my life that fit the category of Slow Down? So I had to really think about it. Two albums came to mind right off the bat. We'll talk about that in a second. And then I had to think some more, and I was like, well, what about uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young? Deja Vu, something like that. But I wasn't listening to that in high school. That came uh, much later. My adult life is when I started listening to that kind of stuff. Um, so that didn't really fit the mold for me, even though those are some perfect records in there somewhere. Uh, then I thought about, well, Sarah McLaughlin. We we're huge fans of hers, but, uh, you know, that that one record of hers, the Fumbling Towards Ecstasy, we wore that record out, but that, again, didn't feel like it qualified as free being early enough or... Uh, something that we listen to all the time still and still to this day uh Chardé came up in my mind a couple of her albums Diamond Life especially for me um, but again they didn't feel like they had the same uh fit as these other records so uh I went back to the original two that came to my mind immediately uh one of which was Melissa Etheridge's debut album which has a ton of slow songs on it that could fit and that whole record that we've already discussed is just so good. Uh, but there's also some uh, more upbeat songs on there, some rockers on there. So, I mean, it was close. I thought I, was, I thought that's the one I was going to do. Uh, but really, it's this other one that I said, you know what? That's the one that that's the one we're going with. Uh, and so we're talking about Tracy Chapman's debut record. Uh, this one is a record that I was obsessed with when it first came out. I haven't stopped playing it since. Still play it regularly to this day. My children listen to it on their own. They know the words. Uh, it's just, uh, it's been around the whole time. And it's fitting because it was released on uh, April 5th, 1988. So we're coming up on 34 years ago uh, it was released. And uh, it was number one in six countries, uh, six million sales in the United States, 20 million sales worldwide. One of the first female artists to sell one record, 10 million copies. Uh, it's been called the best folk album or one of the best folk albums of a generation. How about that? That's high praise. Uh, and it is. It's this like folky blues singer, right? She's uh, from Ohio, went to Tufts. Um, she, one of her classmates discovered her uh, and really became interested in her and her, his father could get her to make a record and she was not taking it seriously, thought maybe it wasn't really very serious. Turns out she had cut a demo at the, at the radio station, uh, and he managed to get uh, Talking About a Revolution played on the radio, and then things really took off. Uh, when she went to go make the record, she got signed to Elektra. People weren't really interested in that type of music in 1988. It was all uh, synthesizers or hair band or hip-hop or whatever it was, New Jack Swing, that kind of stuff. Uh, but... Uh, but she made it. And so she went from busking in, Bo in uh, the Boston area to five years later playing Wembley Stadium in front of 600 million people on TV for Nelson Mandela's 70th birthday. And people didn't know who she was. Her album had just come out a few months earlier. She was supposed to do three songs. Stevie Wonder had an equipment problem, so she ended up playing a lot longer. And uh, that's really what fueled her popularity at the time. And it just really went through the roof after that. Uh, and that's a pretty amazing story, but uh, we all know uh, the song Fast Car from this record, right? Everyone knows it. It's been remade a few times nicely, uh, and that's a great song. But uh, we're talking about all these other songs on here uh, that are so, so good. Talking About a Revolution, obviously, is another one that you'll hear on the radio, and then Fast Car. Across the Lines, awesome. If you don't know this record, you're playing it today. We'll say that over and over again. Uh, Behind the Wall, an a cappella number that is just pretty haunting and powerful. A lot of uh, political or social uh, 
subjects on these on this record here. Um, Baby, can I hold you? That's a good one. That's awesome. I mean, these songs are just so good. We know all the words to these, right? Mountains of things. Again, talking about um, wealth, poverty. All you know, all these all these heavy subjects with these great songs. Uh, she's got her ticket. Again, these songs are so good. Why for my lover? If not now and for you, these are all just like awesome songs. You, you just this is a record you just put on and you play, and you forget it. Like you just play it, and you might even play through it twice in a row and just be like, man, what did I just listen to? That is so good. Uh, do you guys play this record? That's what I want to know. You guys, do you, do you have you listened to this one lately? Uh, just really, really good uh, folk, folky music. Well, it's perfect for Slow Down Sunday. But like I said, this uh, fits the bill this week because we do continue to play this record regularly here in this house. So that's what you're doing. You're slowing it down today at your house. You're going to play Tracy Chapman's debut record. I hope whatever you're doing, it involves music. Looking forward to the next few days. We've got, uh, we've got tomorrow and Tuesday. So uh, with some more favorite records. And is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? You're wondering. I haven't covered a particular band and I see them. I see them over there sitting next to me, just staring at me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but enjoy your Sunday again, whatever you're doing. And as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.